Big stories we're working on right now. We just received new information regarding the deadly shooting of an unarmed black man, Ahmaud Arbery. The Atlanta chapter of the NAACP, along with other political leaders and the GBI, holding a news conference regarding the death of Arbery. CBS 46's Haley Mason joining us live. And Haley, what is the NAACP calling for in this case? Karen, good afternoon. The NAACP is expressing that the Ahmaud Aubrey case is a continuum of a sordid history of judicial malpractice surrounding lynchings in Georgia's history. We just met with them here at the NAACP office in Clayton County, where they pointed out that out of all of the people who entered a construction site in Brunswick to look at that home under construction, they say only the black man who entered resulted in police attention from the community. Attorneys Lee Mer out of Dallas and Chris Stewart here in Atlanta met at the NAACP office asking that William Roddy Bryan be held responsible for his role in recording the shooting of Ahmaud Aubrey and for allegedly blocking Aubrey's running path on February 23rd when he was chased down by Greg and Travis McMichael. The attorneys thank the NAACP for being the first to investigate this case and call out wrongdoing. They also warned against efforts to showcase former police interactions with Ahmad Aubrey. They admonish efforts to call anyone other than Aubrey a victim. Ahmad Aubrey has been in the media today. Uh, uh, they continue to release new images attempting to criminalize Ahmad Aubrey, the victim, when the criminals remain William Bryan, Gregory McMichael, and Travis McMichael. Now, Attorney Merritt is referring to this new video that came out today showing a 2017 incident where Ahmaud Aubrey is being approached by an officer of officers in Glenn County. They attempted to tase him as he parked in a park. They say that that park is known for drug activity. Meanwhile, Aubrey said he was waiting to go to work. Aubrey's mother speaks out and attorneys continue to highlight three key points of people they want criminally prosecuted and investigated. I'll have that coming up today at four at this afternoon. Reporting live in East Point for now, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. All right, Haley, thank you so much.